I'm going to be telling you the scary story of the house I lived in in elementary and middle school. It was a three-bedroom house, one bedroom in the basement, and two bedrooms upstairs. Because I was the oldest, I got put in the bedroom in the basement. Right when we moved in, I already had creepy feelings about the house. I hated being downstairs by myself. One day, I dropped a $20 bill behind my dresser. I decided to move my dresser all by myself, and behind the dresser was this door. It wasn't a normal door. It was really short and just squared. It was also glued off, so I couldn't get into it. Me and my neighbor, who were best friends, worked at it for days to get into it. We finally got it open, and inside was another room. It was almost like an underground attic. The walls were wooden, the ceiling was wooden, there was no carpet, but it smelled awful. My parents found out and they were super mad at me for opening the room. They of course put that dresser in front of that door for a reason because they knew I would explore it. But after that, things started to get weird. Stay tuned for part two.